Okie dokie. Uh, just testing some stuff out right now, making sure that everything works properly. Um, this will probably be the first couple of minutes to my stream. Uh, sorry for the loud music just now. Boop, boop. Okay, giving it another couple of seconds. Um, I'm working off of my Wi-Fi, so I'm hoping that it uploads pretty decently. Haven't had too much of an issue with my Wi-Fi, not recently anyway. Okie dokie, going to my live streaming thing. Seeing if it's popping up. Okay, it says I'm live. My stream health is full. That's good. Um, gonna change the thumbnail. And yeah. Sorry for this, just give me a second. Everything will be all set up. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Teddy! Teddy! Come here, baby! Ah. Uh, and my dog's working. <laughs> One second. about that my dog locked himself in the bathroom by himself poor baby um so yeah uh so this is what i'm working on today um I, i'm hopefully gonna work on this one and this one as well Though it's already midnight, so the faster I get through this, the more likely it is I'll get through the other one as well. And this one's not too terribly complex compared to uh, some other ones. So hopefully I just zip through that. Um, yeah. So I'll start that now. If I have to get up, I'm sorry. I do have a puppy who likes to get into a lot of trouble. Um, as I've said before, I'm a couple of days behind on Inktober. So currently I'm, gosh, I can't remember which one this is. Um, every time I, I wanna say what it is, I think ferocious, but I don't think that's actually the one. Oh, it is. It's ferocious. This one's ferocious. The other day, um, I did fierce and I probably, I, I really do need to look ahead on the things cause I would have also done this one for ferocious, but, um, I was thinking that this one could be placed in the same battle scene. Uh, yeah.
And I think in between the drying sections today, I'm going to be painting my Halloween mask. Um, I'm doing a Plague Doctor mask, so that should be interesting, at least slightly. Because um, it's a little bit different than the other stuff I'm doing. Uh, and I know it's not ink, but it is stuff I need to get done before next week. Because sadly, there's a deadline on Halloween. And just in case anybody's wondering, this is um, Uchna, the revolution revolutionary girl inspired. Um, I was talking to my wife earlier today and I mentioned that I can't believe it's been something like 10 years since I watched Utna. Because um, I remember watching it so vividly uh, with her for the first time. Teddy! Hi, Teddy. Um, and I've put bunny, little mo um, little bunny motif around the edges of the sword. Um, yes, because of the bunny girl. Uh, and this way she's in the scene without actually being in the scene as well. I think I might actually create a comic, um, and not like just talk about it just about these two and their lives and the adventures they go on. Um, I would have to draft it up, but the next comic I have to draft up is actually a collaboration between my wife and I. And uh, I'm doing all of those thumbnails in November, or at least I'm starting all of the thumbnails in November. Um, instead of doing like NaNoWriMo or anything like that, Sketch November or, uh, I don't know what they have for artists, but, um, a lot of my friends are actually doing NaNoWriMo and I just, uh, have no intention of writing a novel in a month, <laughs> not with, uh, art and having a full-time job and being not the best with writing. I mean, I could probably write a book, an entire book, if I just spoke um, the entire thing into a recorder and then transcribed it or something.
Um, I'll also be making an effort to put this up as a speed inking as well. I just got done editing two videos earlier today, um, which I know isn't that much considering how many days I'm behind. Uh, but I just need to put the voiceovers on them and upload them. And I think I'm just going to put those out one a day, that way I have something for consistency's sake. But, uh, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about only putting those two things up or disappointing people because, I mean, uh, Currently, there's not many people to disappoint, um, and this was made, mostly made as a challenge to myself. And I think after watching all those YouTubers uh, who do this for a living go, oh my god, it's so hard to do every day, um, I kind of feel a little bit relieved that it wasn't just, it wasn't just me. I'm always worried about doing like things in front of the face, even though I originally intended to have these strands in front of the face. I'm just like, oh my god, I'm gonna ruin it. I'm going to mess everything up. Sorry, uh, just double checking what my dog's doing. Um, he's very interested in his bone, and the cat's very interested in him. <laughs> Sorry about that.
Okay. So next step. Oh, okay, a little. Too many pens, guys. Doot. Now erasing. Oh my goodness, where did my eraser go? There it is. Underneath a pack of uh, trashable um, paintbrushes for those watercolors. do it with a dip pen again. It's not absolutely terrible to get out of a dip pen, but I mean, dip pens do take longer, but it's just a lot easier to clean and you can get more precise lines. I know that an option is to, you know, paint more carefully, but I enjoy washes. And, um, it actually in the end saves me time. Though today, I think instead of doing up all the stars, I will just draw them with a dip pen afterwards. I can hear my dog uh, down the hallway playing with like a plastic bottle or something. It's like his favorite toy. We bought him all these toys and like he loves the squeaky toys, but he loves nothing more than a plastic bottle to rip around the house with.
dear. That's unfortunate. And that's the sound of my dog. Ripping through the house with a um, plastic bottle. Alright, I'm gonna take this one out. It looks like it got bent out of shape. There we go. One second, I just need to clean this out and I'm gonna There we go. It's all clean. Hopefully that, yeah, there we go. I resolved it. I wasn't putting anything down despite being full of um, the gum and it got pressed out of, uh, out of joint. Understand, my, my dog is a very small dog. He's like Maltese Shizu, um, leaning more towards a Maltese size, and like he's still a puppy, so he gets the zoomies. But um, he's he gets very ferocious, like he's gonna actually harm that bottle. But uh, he's he's very tiny and very cute and loves all people, so it's just funny. If you give him attention, he will love you forever. That's the kind of dog he is. All right, now. Uh, just fix this up. Do a couple more on this cheek. Then while this dries for a little bit, so it doesn't do some weird stuff, um, I'm going to paint my Plague Doctor mask a little bit, um, so that should be fun. Teddy, what are you doing? Here. Yeah. No going underneath my desk. How do you treat? How do you treat? Teddy. Teddy, here. No, no more treats. Not for jumping up on me. At the very least. Okay. I think that's done for now. I mean, it's not done for now. It just needs to dry before I can do anything else. Um, sometimes I try to paint the drawing gum too fast and it does a terrible, terrible smearing thing. Uh, so...
I just changed the title of the stream to include the Plague Doctor mask because uh, hopefully that's high enough. But I'm making a Plague Doctor mask and uh, I need several coats of paint. I removed some stuff here so I have to repaint over that again which isn't too bad but uh this is gonna take me a while and then once I'm done um, painting this or at least doing some of the paint on this um, I'll go back to go back to the main objective which is Inktober uh, this is just a I guess oh dear that was a little lot um, I guess it's a bonus in a way um, so this is technically the third coat of paint. Um, I put ink as like an acrylic ink wash as the first coat and it was okay, but it didn't do very much to hide what was underneath it. I used it as a primer. I really should have used like gesso, gesso, whatever as my primer because, uh, while the black ink was good, it just seeped in, and then every acrylic layer, well, my second acrylic layer did the same. Um, it just seeped straight in, and then you were able to see parts of the red and yellow and blue. Um, it looked like a clown mask before, like a clown plague doctor. Um, one of my coworkers said that I looked, it reminded him of, um, like Mobius, like the painter, um, and his color palette. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's that's about accurate. Okay, uh, I'm going to brush out, out, brush out, out. I really should put this on a palette of some kind. That's a little better. That's a little bit horrifying. Oops. Um, I should put that cover back on that light. So that you can see what I'm doing. Um, That's not much of a help. Everything's black right now, I know. It's pretty intense. Intensely black. I'm hoping it dries a little bit more matte than it has been drying. So it gets a little bit of a, um, like, suede leather instead of a shiny dominatrix leather look to it. Um, yeah. This really needs to come up a little bit more. Um, but I don't know if I can actually move it without making everybody nauseous and without uh, 
possibly damaging the arm. I need to get a better um, recording arm. But uh, for now, this will do. Because most of the work that I do is an A5, and it's needs it needs to be really close anyway. So yeah, I'm going as a pseudo witch doctor. Um, this will be painted up with some silver and uh, white gold, and. I think I'm going to put some flowers growing out of different parts. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to look for linen glasses to pop out and put here. Um, I want them to be pink, but uh, if I can't find pink, I'll go for teal or black would be great. Um, I don't necessarily want black though, because I just think that's a lot of overpowering blackness. Um, even with the silver burnishing. hear my cat screaming at my dog in the background and I would go and save him but every time I go to save him I realize that they're playing and not fighting my dog's not making growling sounds or anything um, my cat Alistair loves Teddy so much that he won't let us go for a walk without following us like a mile and a half. <laughs> He'll follow for a mile just to stay close to the dog. He loves the dog that much. Now I hear play barking. Teddy! Hi, Teddy. That's a dog squeaking one of his chew toys in the background. Sorry. Teddy. <laughs> Okay, I think, hold on, touch, 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 nope, that's still drying. Um, I was just seeing if the, if the thing was ready to go, it's still in the midst of drying, so more painting to be done to this. 
Um, though I could be working on some more sketches for Inktober. Um, I still have today's to catch up on uh, for sketches. Though I have everything else sketched up and ready to go. Um, yeah. If you want me to sketch out, let me know. If you're fine watching me paint a Plague Doctor mask, <laughs> let me know. Okay. I have Tarzan songs stuck in my head. Which is just unfortunate because I can't listen to them without getting hit with like copyright infringement. Knock on the camera. Well, the camera arm. Ay. Caramba. Just threw my own uh, paintbrush at myself by accident. That was unintentional. And knocked the camera arm again with the mask. To be fair, it's a fairly decent sized mask. I mean, it's not bad for being made out of foam. I'm hoping that the um, acrylic strengthens it a bit. If it doesn't, I'll be putting some. Um, wire underneath to uh, just give it a little bit more of a sturdy feel. That way it doesn't collapse in on itself at some point. I think for my last paint, um, of painting of black on here, which isn't this one, it'll probably be my next one, um, I'll be just pulling it out, straight out. Um, but yeah, this is it so far. Uh, that's enough paint for now. I haven't painted this part here or underneath, really not, like, not well enough. But that can wait for the next thing. I'm just going to put it up so that it doesn't, you know, get everywhere. And we're going to pull this back in and work heavily in the hair, I think. Um, 
I don't know if I want to use my Karataki pen or if I want to use an ink wash pen first. But give me a second to put this up and we'll decide. Okay, that's all perched up there on a nice shelf. Now I'm gonna go back to working on this. Oh, you know, I should have gotten a black table considering how much I use ink. This white table is killing my desk. Like, I know, I could probably just be a lot more careful than I am. This will be fun to clean later. Okay. Um. Boop. All right. There we are. Okay, so. Kurataki first. Just because it's the first thing I grabbed. Um. And I'll be filling in a lot of her hair. I'll be leaving some of it to have a little bit more of a uh, textured look. You know, so you can tell the different strands apart, I guess. That and my Kurtaki pen here is on its last legs and I don't have a refill and I don't know where to get another refill from without spending an arm and a leg here in New Zealand. Oh, hi, Mara. Mara C. Ow. How are you doing? Oh, I'm guessing you're gone now. If you're not, how are you doing?
All right, uh, this comes out through here if I remember correctly. Teddy. Hi, Teddy. The puppy is sad that the cat doesn't want to play with him. No, that's unfortunate. I got some uh, ink on the white bits. Uh, that might actually be acrylic.
gonna get a wash brush and grab one of my lighter washes. Yep, that's definitely lighter. And wash. some of that wash off where it's pulling not that I won't love the look of it it's just gonna take forever to dry and I do not have a hand dryer still first wash and now we're going to add actual value differences oh wait the wash should go all the way up that there we go uh, gonna leave the background white and grab a new brush a little detail brush here and pull up different color. I think I've misplaced one of my darker washes. I think this one's actually just... Yeah, that'll do. Teddy. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through and adding the shadows from the hair onto her skin. Uh, and adding the shadows to her skin before I go through and uh, put like deeper shadows in or anything like that. Um, just go with this light wash. Well, I guess this is a medium wash. Um, put some hue variation in her eyeballs.
I said that this one wouldn't be too terribly involved, but it's already one o'clock in the morning, though I didn't start this until after midnight, and I've painted some of that Plague Doctor mask. Um, this one will probably be done quick enough uh, for me to start on the next one as well. I don't know if I'll finish it tonight, but I think I'll definitely be able to start it. And then I'll be able to start uh, editing these ones as well. Hopefully I can start putting them up again tomorrow. But if I live stream again tomorrow, it's very unlikely that I will because live streaming time is taking up some of my um, audio recording and editing time, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, I think live streaming is pretty cool. Uh, I don't get a lot of viewers, but everybody has to start somewhere, right? And even if I never get very many viewers, it's enjoyable to do. And at the very least, my family can watch this afterwards or during. Um, last night my mom was in here watching, which was pretty cool. Uh, asking what I was doing and then, you know, telling me to go to bed. Um, and I know that my dad watches them after they're finished. Um, because, you know, he sleeps at normal times. Whereas it's like 1, 11 a.m. here. Uh, he'll probably be awake in about two hours for work, but he won't watch it until later, I don't think. Mm, but yeah, I like that they watch it and then they get a little bit of better insight into what I'm doing or why I'm doing things. And I mean, I guess I can keep it for posterity's sake for myself as well. Like, I can look back and a year and be like, oh, that's where I was. Um, I do that now with my old art, but it's, it's different. It's not like it's actually recorded in time. Um, and I think that's a, a pretty cool aspect of the world these days is that you could easily, um, save different parts of your life, access different parts of your life years down the road and see it for what it is good and the bad. My wife is actually talking to me recently about why don't you vlog and I think um, I don't for a lot of reasons mostly because I think I have a very boring life but um, I guess a lot of vloggers probably think that about themselves. Um, I also don't know what I would vlog. Like, oh, here's me walking my puppy in the park. And, uh, here's me at work teaching people how to use Photoshop. Hello, people who didn't ask to be on my vlog. Um, <laughs> I guess, like... If I didn't have to do my job, I didn't have to do all of the things in my life, I could totally vlog, like, everything I do, like, oh, going to the store and trying new things out. Um, as it stands, I don't really try too many new things out lately. Um, and I don't really go out on vacation, and if I was going out on vacation, I don't think I would want to vlog that. Though, I might want to vlog my family and my life. That's kind of funny. Uh, I don't know if I would want to vlog it, though. I might just want to record it. Record a little bit more of it. Um, it's funny with the technology. You're able to do a lot of things, but... Like, even though my family and I, we hang out almost weekly, we don't do any recordings. I think recordings would be really cool. <laughs> um, like, I guess I didn't start thinking about a lot of this stuff until recently. Um, and I think part of it is that, like, a lot of my, a lot of my own, like, photographs and 
memories from being a kid and the videos and stuff. They're, they're gone. I don't know where they are. Um, I don't know if we have any of the videos from when I was a kid, like Christmas or birthdays or any of that. I don't know if I would go back and watch them again, but I don't know. I might if I knew where they were. Um, like I've seen my own birth. Well, not the entire birth, just my mom being wheeled to the hospital and her yelling at my grandma to stop filming <sighs> and, you know, talking in the talking in the doctor's office and whatnot. I don't even know if that was done with my sisters. I'm guessing not because mom wouldn't have been as close to grandma like living wise. I think grandma's the one who instigated that stuff. Um, the birthing stuff. Teddy. Teddy's in here squeaking his toy. You're zoomed out. No. Ugh. Hi, Teddy. We're not going behind my desk. We're not going behind my desk. What? Give me your toy. Uh, I'm playing tug of war with my dog right now. Kind of. Alright. I think that's all there is for the hair bits. I'm gonna try to carefully put these in here. And then blot them out. I just want some more focused areas for the for the little hair shadows. What I think is interesting is there's about consistently two people watching my stream and very rarely do they say anything. And I wonder how many people watching a stream are bots? And if the number keeps fluctuate, fluctuating from two to three or one to two or whatever, how many of those people are actually people? But there are statistics on it. Or they're watching and not wanting to talk. Or they're watching without volume, which is something I do sometimes. Uh, listening to my own music or whatever when I'm watching somebody else's stream. Come here. Good boy, come here. Always 
sit in my lap here. Go ahead and lay in my lap and I'll draw. Yeah, it's okay. Teddy is watching in a very fascinated manner as I do this. Teddy is a very small pupper. Um, originally my wife's dog. Still my wife's dog, but also my dog. And he's bringing me this. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. There you go. Oi, Teddy. Maybe I'll do a uh, catch up stream this weekend and just like blaze through these as many of them as I can. I might have to get a hand dryer though. Teddy. Yeah. He wants me to play fetch, so I'm kind of playing fetch. Kind of. He brings his toy, squeaks it, I pick it up, and throw it. <laughs> He's brought me like six toys now. He leaves the room and finds another one and brings it to me. And it's really cute. And they get there. Uh.
Oh no. I knocked over my thing. Welp. That happened. See, look. Spilled ink. Told you. I should not have a white desk. Next to spilled ink is my unicorn washi tape. Bam. My wrist just did a twinge thing. That's always a really good sign. It's been doing it um, for about a week now, actually. It's been doing this twinge thing where all of a sudden I have no feeling in it. And then it expands through my entire wrist like it has a shock wave, and I can feel that. Um, and then it goes away. <laughs> Which, I mean, it could be worse. So, count my blessings. I do know that means, it means I need to be easier on it though. And I've been trying to be, I promise. Oh, I should probably switch my, switch my little brush, uh, do little detail-y parts. Boop, boop. If you were going to work with black and one other color, what color would it be? I chose red because I thought it was really bold against the black and white, especially with the grays. Though I think if I do it again, I might choose purple um, or teal. Teal is my favorite color. Um, I'm not sure if I would have to make up my own ink for that. Uh, like mix some green and blue. Make some teal. Um, and I think next year, when I do Inktober, I'm going to have a actual solid plan going into it. Because this year, I kind of just... I was going to do a comic, like, every single day. Just one page of a comic every day. Or one page of storyboards every day. And I just was sick during the first couple of days and fell behind. And, um... I, when it started, I was just like, well, I guess I'm going to have to come up with an idea off the top of my head and just, I'm just going to continue running with it. So I did that. I started day late. I did that. And, um, I've just been running with it since I came up with the idea of the Fox girl. That's the universe and the, um, the rabbit girl that represents bouncing light and love um so i guess like the moon and love and um sometimes she's constellations um and i started creating a story for them and i have the story like written in my head and then for every day i would see what the brief is or the prompt for that day and i would work off of it or i would change it just slightly um like I think fat I changed to pregnant, um, just so it fit in with the story I was trying to create. Um, I mean, it's done a lot for me. I've spent some time just trying to make things fit well here. Dear. Oops.
I don't know about you, but when I'm angry, when I'm furious, um, my entire face goes red, my ears turn red, just I am a mess of red, I tell you what. So I kind of wanted to incorporate that here in her cheeks, across her face, um, not to get in confused with a blush, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I decided that would be a good way to approach that. Ow. My wrist just did a twinge again. Might, might not be able to do a two hour stream. I was going to go two and a half, three, but I think definitely at, a, at about the two hour mark I'm going to have to tap out tonight just because my wrist keeps twinging. It was just once or twice, maybe I would get over it, but it's it's doing it consistently, which is not great. So yeah. Okay. Doing some stretching out of this thing, making sure it is all cleaned. It's starting to get all tarnished. Uh, know if you can see that but yeah it's a little tarnished now from being used every single day in Inktober I think that doing um the stars this way uh, with the dip pen actually can be pretty great um, as long as the ink underneath it's dry. I do need to get a new white ink. If anybody has a recommendation for a white ink that isn't a Jelly Roll gel pen, uh, that'd be great. Um, I'm currently using Arrow Color Professional Finest Acrylic Ink. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's okay. It gets the job done, and I guess that's the biggest part. But, um, it kind of just seeps into whatever's behind it. And it's just not something I want. I want something that's very opaque. Um, though I know that with ink, the most opaque thing with white I will get as if I just don't even paint on it. I mean that's cool and all but I want I want to have some post editing control. You know? My puppy is laying on my feet. <laughs> he just made a little huffing sound. Went, oh. <laughs> it's really cute.
Alright, I will add some more white um, to this in a second. Before I do, I'm gonna clean off my tarnishing <laughs> ball, I mean dip pen, almost a ballpoint pen, which it definitely is not. Um, and then I'm going to start scratching some of this stuff off. start here. So it will be the easiest. Okay, that's enough of that for now. I'm going to go back with white and start adding it into the whiskers, not whiskers, um, cheeks of the box. Like so. And this should be good because I took some of the white, um, I, I took some of the drawing gum and had it there. But the mixture of the two will have super white and then like a more pink white. And um, I think I'll also put in a little bit more red so that it, I get like a legitimate pink as well if it doesn't pink down. Remembering to keep my hand lifted off the off the page is always <laughs> it's always a little bit difficult. Um, I keep wanting to rest my hand, and if I do, I know that I have a high chance of smudging. So I try my hardest to not. I say, and then I promptly use my fingers as a tool to spread out this ink. That's one part of that started. Uh, oh dear. Double checking if things are dry and I definitely didn't notice that one was not dry. Okay. 
pulling this one off. To the best of my ability. It's funny because at like 1.45 in the morning, which is right now, all I can think is, it would be nice to go for a run now, but um, I definitely am not going for a run at 1.45 in the morning. I think that might be hazardous to my health, <laughs> or at least detrimental to it. And I'm fairly certain Rin would be like, ah, no, no you cannot. Okay, gotta go through and add some black back in the places that need it. Um, that would be this area right here.
Oh, I forgot from what I was streaming, I got lost in thought. Mistake. Oh well. If you make a mistake in pen, you have to commit to it. I think that's the the rule of the land. Alrighty, I think that's it for this one, at least for now. Um, I might come back tomorrow and look at it and see something I want to change, but um, like yesterday's video, I didn't even look at the picture and decide if anything else needed to be put in. I just went, nope. I said I was done. It's done. Um, it's very likely what's going to happen with this one as well. So I'll just be like, okay, well, it's time to move on. Next challenge. Um, which I feel like is a lot of the importance of the everyday challenge in Inktober is just knowing that when you're done with it, you can't touch it again. Um, or at least that's one of my biggest problems is I, I never feel done with some things. Um, and going back to them is just habit, happenstance, whatever. Uh, so yeah. <sighs> I think that this is it. Thank you all for watching. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful day or night or whatever it is there. Um, I was going to do the next one which is trail but I think I'm gonna wait um, for tomorrow to do that just because my wrist keeps twinging and uh, since I use that for a living um, I need it. Um, I'm gonna Just wait until tomorrow and do another live stream tomorrow night. Hopefully I have a couple of videos edited and um, I'll be doing a voiceover probably not tomorrow night if I'm doing a live stream, but the night after. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue doing a live stream every night or if I'm going to uh, do one every couple of nights. 
just because um, when I do my live streams, I can't like watch other things. Like I listen to podcasts and um, whatnot, and it just gets me in a good drawing mood and lets me zone out without worrying about if I'm talking enough or I'm talking too much or whatever. Um, I always can do the voiceover at the end. Um, I know I said I'm done with it and I'm still, I'm still going, dotting this thing up, redoing some lines, you know, the artist stuff. Not leaving well enough alone or whatever. Okay, so, um, yeah, again, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful night and, or day, or whatever time you're watching this, um, and I'll see you all later.